Hey everybody, this is FireGod522 here with my first hammer editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic map and some ways that you can stay away from bad habits such as carving and hollowing. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to libraries and then tools and we got to make sure source SDK is installed. If you have that installed, then we can load it up by launching it and then once it's up you can choose the engine version. I'm going to be using Source Engine 2007 with the current game Episode 2. Once we have chose the game and the engine version we can change the... or we can load up Hammer Editor now and it should look something like this. So we go to File New And let me set my default brick texture, which you guys have. Okay. So, with your new file, we want to make a simple level that the player can walk around in. It's got a sky and everything. We can get the brush creation tool, which is this little gray brush, and we can place it down on the map. The left curvy bracket and the right curvy bracket changes the size of the grid. Generally, I keep mine at default 16 or 8, depending on how much detail I'm adding, but I'm not adding much, so I'm just going to leave it. Oops. I'll go over the arch tool of the next tutorial. Okay. If we make a brush, we notice that it's wireframe. We do not want this. So what we'll do is we'll go to camera, and we'll either change it to textured or change it to textured polygons, which I'm going to use. I'm going to change the size. Okay, so let's say we want to make this a box. So we just hold shift, or we click on the brush, hold shift, and then we drag it where we want it. And this will duplicate the brush. Okay, now we need to have it fill in the gap. Okay, now how I rotated it there is I took the brush, I clicked in the middle, or like inside of it, and these little circles came up. When you rotate it, you're maybe rotating freely like this. I made mine snap to 15 degrees. A way you can do this is to go to Tools, Options, 2D Views, and then Default to 15 degrees Rotations. Now that we have our box, we need to make a top for it so that way we don't leak into the void, which is this black stuff over here. and then make a bottom as well so that way you don't see the void and now we're in a nice little sealed off level now of course this isn't very appealing to the eyes so how about we give it some nice little textures what we can do is we can go over to our texture groups we can press browse and let's let's give it a nice grass texture on the ground how about one from episode two now, we have our texture, but we can't apply it. What we can do is we can press the Apply Texture brush, or button, and when we press that, it'll make the ground a different color. The color of the grass, it shows, you can see the grass, all that. Now, we can select these brushes over here, and let's say we wanted to make it a sky. So that way it has like suns and clouds and all that. We type in the filter for Tools Sky, now give us little blue texture with dark blue lines and skybox in the middle of it. Press apply textures and that is now our skybox texture. It doesn't look like this in game. You can change this by going to map, map properties, and then change the skybox name. 
Okay, so with our level, some people think it would be easier. Well, okay, it is easier, but it does leave errors behind if you do this. <laughs> they make the brush, they press right click and then make hollow. They choose how thick they want it and then they press enter. This makes a box, but it uses up some little extra memory compared to this way. Most people generally make up a skybox out of this, which I don't support because hollowing is the same thing as carving. And honestly, if you happen to have a cylinder, and you hollow it, make a cylinder, and then make hollow, choose a thick, that honestly does not look good, and will turn out very ugly in game. So a better way is to either clip it, or you can use the arch tool, which is right here, and I'll go over this in my next tutorial, don't worry. You see how much nicer that is compared to this? Okay, now a thing people want to do is if they want their map to have like a doorway or something, and excuse me if this doesn't make sense having a sky with a doorway, many of the times what they do is they get a brush, make it the size they want, whatever, just slop it together. And then, once they make it, they press Control shift c or right-click Carve. You get rid of that, and then it gives you a weird sky. Now, carving gives you plenty of errors, such as micro brushes, which Hammer doesn't like very much. So an alternative is you can use the clipping tool. And pretty much it's a tool that lets you clip brushes. You press Shift X for the hotkey, and then it'll switch the sides. Whichever is white is whichever you keep. The red side gets deleted. So we want to keep both to make this hallway. that, get the top, shift X, get rid of the bottom because it's going to be our little doorway, and now we have made this, and of course we need the bottom of the level, so there, now we have a little blocky doorway for whatever reason. <clears throat> Now, the thing is, if you compile your map, like, you press, what is it, um, map, no, I don't even know where it is, but if you press run map, which is this little button right here, it's also F9, you'll get an error and your map won't compile right. So what we need to do is we need to make sure it is sealed off. So we just go ahead and do this. And that makes it to where our map is sealed. And of course, we can adjust that. Now, I do persist that you guys do not hollow or carve. If you hollow your map, I will not help you. Because you obviously did not listen. Just use clip. It's much quicker. Oh, and before you can compile your map, you need to place down a certain entity so that you spawn. You need to have at least one point entity, which are these things right over here. All the things that can be placed down. I'm going to place down a player, spark, player start. And now, when you spawn, you will spawn in this position, facing this way. Like I said, left curvy bracket and right curvy bracket changes the size of the grid, so that way you can add more detail in. 
And so yeah, this has been Firegot522 with my first hammer editor tutorial, teaching you what you should and should not do when making a map. Have fun, don't burn yourself.